How's it going guys, it's Zero, and today I'm bringing you another how to use Pokemon guide. Today, I'm talking about my favorite Pokemon ever, Mewtwo. Fun fact, the Mewtwo that you see on screen is the same Mewtwo I've been carrying around since Fire Red on the Game Boy Advance, and I've been transferring him up every single generation. And with the new changes to like mints and battle caps, I've finally been able to make him competitively viable, so super excited to use him online. So the first set I'm going to talk about actually is the 3v3 online set if you're going to hit the ranked ladder. Series 8 is finally upon us and unfortunately for Mewtwo, Power Creep has finally caught up to him after the maybe 20 years or whatever of him being super amazing and kind of all-encompassing power. Um, but the set that I'm going to be running here today... Um, I think you should be running it with sticky webs, running it with screens, or some sort of Thunder Wave support. Um, this is going to be the hardest format for you to pull off Mewtwo, uh, simply because of the existence of Zacy and C, and the Calyrex Shadow Rider, and even of Eltal. Those are going to be your main counters, and we're going to be talking a lot about those. So I'm running a Timid Nature with max speed, max special attack, and a life orb. And I'm running the moves Psy Strike, Shadow Ball, Fire Blast, and Ice Beam or Thunder. That one's kind of seasoned to taste. Um, with Fire Blast, you get a 90% uh, minimum on uh, Zacian crowned, but if you Dynamax and use Max Flare, it's a clean one hit KO. Shadow Ball, obviously one hit KOs Calyrex Ice. Um, Fire Blast and Shad Shadow Ball can two hit KO Calyrex, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Shadow Ball one hit KOs Calyrex Shadow Rider. Um, Fire Blast or Shadow Ball can two hit KO um, Calyrex Ice Rider. Max Hailstorm can be used to one hit KO Groudon. Uh, it can also be used to one hit KO the standard Eveltal. Um, but you can slot Thunder in there to give yourself a max lightning. And that'll be enough to give you a one hit clean KO on uh, Scarf Kyogre. Um, like I said, you're going to need some sticky webs, uh, some sort of speed control or damage control, because Zacian and Calyrex, Ghost Rider, and as well as um, Eveltal are easily able to one hit KO Mewtwo, and those are easily, easily his biggest enemies right now. So that's how I would use him in uh, 3v3. Make sure you tack a Life Orb on him for that little extra damage. As far as Series 8 goes for doubles, I'm going to be running the same EVs and the same item. Um, I'm actually running Side Strike, Shadow Ball, Fire Blast, and Protect. I think Protect is super important on your offensive pieces, especially Mewtwo. As far as the legendaries go, um, he's kind of squishy, so pretty easy to take down, but he, that's the trade-off for having the amount of firepower that he has. Uh, I'm pairing him with a Hitmontop that gives a little bit of um, a defensive support with the Intimidate, and I pair him with a Fake Out. Um, and Sucker Punch hit him on top. The Fake Out helps you stop Zacian in his tracks because he can't, he cannot Dynamax. And then you can easily KO with a Fire Blast, or you can Max and KO him with a Max Flare. The Sucker Punch is for Calyrex Shadow Rider. A Max Adamant um, hit him on top Sucker Punch is enough to get like a 99% minimum on Calyrex Shadow Rider when he's not Dynamaxed. Otherwise, it's a nice clean 50% on Calyrex Shadow Rider. So easy to hit KO. Uh, you could just max guard your Mewtwo if you're in the face of a Calyrex Shadow Rider and get a couple sucker punches off. Um, the biggest thing is you need to watch out for when you're using him in doubles is, if you're gonna run this EV spread, is watch out for Incineroar and Urshifu Single Strike, the dark version. With this, you don't really have a very reliable option to hit either of those, especially in Cineroar, but Fire Blast slash Max Flare could handle Urshifu pretty well. As far as Showdown goes, I'm going to be running the same EVs, and um, I'm going to be running a Focus Sash. This set, I'm running the same kind of setup with Nasty Plot instead. So I got Nasty Plot, Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, and Side Strike. Again, I think this setup is best. Um, supported by some sort of speed control or screens um, because there are his main threats are usually faster than him or have some sort of priority against him that's super effective um, so like I said screens work really well otherwise um, sticky web thunder wave support those are the best ways you're gonna work Mewtwo um, as far as the mute as far as the nasty plot goes when you get to plus two with Mewtwo uh, assuming you're running timid nature 
Um, you can one hit KO standard Eveltal with Ice Beam. Um, and Groudon is also one hit KO'd, and Lugia is two hit KO'd even through multi scale. Um, so that's super important, uh, especially on the Eveltal. And Groudon's always going to be around because weather's popular. Um, you got Shadow Ball to easily one hit KO Calyrex Shadow Rider. It also two hit KO especially defensive Necrozma Duskmane and specially defensive Giratina. I think Giratina runs a lot of physically defensive. Um, and uh, that's against the bulky defogging version. Side Strike is there to clean up most of the things that don't resist it. Uh, most notably Geomancy, Xerneas, Scarf, Kyogre, Physically Defensive Toxapex, Blissey, and Eternatus. Every version of Eternatus falls to a plus two Side Strike. The things you really need to watch for in Ubers would be uh, Ferrothorn and Tyranitar. You can run Aura Sphere on these. Um, to give yourself clean two hit KOs on those Pokemon, but uh, the giving up the coverage of the other few moves is just kind of tough, but uh, that's a call you could definitely make. As far as the last set goes, I'm kind of excited to talk about this one. It's a nice support screens set. I'm running a Timid Nature with max speed, I think that's really important. And then I'm running 216 HP, and I'm actually running 36 special attack, and I'm holding a light clay. So I've got Reflect, Light Screen, Thunder Wave, and then you have Ice Beam or Shadow Ball. Those two moves, um, it's kind of just pick and choose what you want to counter. Um, Ice Beam is there for Eveltal and Shadow Ball is there for Calyrex Ghost Rider. If you have a counter to one or the other on your team already, then I suggest covering the other one with Ice Beam or Shadow Ball. So for example, if you already have a Sha um, Calyrex Shadow Rider counter, um, on your team, then maybe just run Ice Beam because you're going to be running into a Veltal. The EV spread is super custom and uh, it allows you to one hit KO Calyrex Shadow Rider and survive Astral Barrage through a light screen. You'll still get two hit KO'd, so keep that in mind. But you uh, definitely can live one Astral Barrage and, and Shadow Ball takes care of them. It also allows you to two hit KO the standard Eveltal with Ice Beam and survive sucker two sucker punches behind a Reflect. Those are really important. Make sure you get your screens up. But this, this set is actually designed to lure in those counters. Um, when someone sees Mewtwo on the field, if they've got Eveltal in the back, that's a really easy switch in for them to make because, you know, they may be expecting some sort of psychic move. Um, and then because of their priority and their high speed, the high speed of Calyrex Ghost Rider, uh, it's really easy for them to just pick Mewtwo off. But then you can Thunder Wave them on the switch, set up a screen, and then take care of them. Uh, whatever you want to do. You can run team support, or you can just kind of hard counter those with uh, screens. So, yeah, uh, as far as Mewtwo goes, uh, that's all I've got to say about him. Um, I think he needs the right support to function be just because of the power creep of this game. Uh, a lot of really powerful legendary Pokemon have come out since he's come out um, all the way back in first gen. So like I said, he's still a threat. Um, if, if people don't account for him, he can still dismantle teams. But like I said, he just needs the right support. Maybe he's kind of a high skill cap Pokemon at this point. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on Mewtwo. Let us know what you want to see next. Um, I was super excited to do this guide, so I hope you guys got something out of it. Um, yeah, and then uh, just comment, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, uh, let us know what you want to see, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, see you later.